what's going on youtube i'm back with another video and today we're going to be talking about why their mori is probably one of the dumbest gms uh president of basketball ever maybe now I, that's probably far-fetched i'm just saying i'm just talking about talking out my ass for that one but for him to just keep thinking he's going to get high value out of ben simmons after he's not showing no performance this year because he's not playing for the team it's ridiculous it's like come on i know last year you tried to trade him for harden and whatnot that was smart though but i feel like you should have kept pushing that knowing that before you got there that team wasn't doing very well as a uh, duo of ben simmons and uh joel Embiid. but you should have seen that even before you came to the sixers so why still try to gamble on this you, now you are losing as much value as you can with ben simmons because not one he's not playing two he's refused he's refusing to deal with any team you try to put him to unless you pull a greg popovich and send him to toronto or something and uh there was an article yesterday saying he is still looking to trade for damian lillard and it's it's ridiculous it's like what do you mean how are you gonna get damian lillard he had a rocky start this season but he's back i mean oh well he's injured but even they wouldn't even trade a 38 year old name for Ben Simmons just cause how y'all are not treating this trade well are treating him like a superstar when he's not a superstar he's good he's an all star he's a good he's a great defensive player I'll give him that for surely but his last game correct me if I'm wrong was the was the game when he was the game against the Hawks right and we all seen that and it was bad so for you to not at least ship him off in the off season I, I don't know I, I, don't, I don't know if you could have but if you could if you could have why not you could have got multiple picks now the Pacers are willing to re blow up their team and rebuild which is smart they're willing to trade Miles Turner DeMontis Sabonis and Karis LeVert which is a great idea that team was good but it wasn't good enough to win a championship or get far in the playoffs which their president of basketball and GM finally realized that and they're willing to take and look at offers and I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna get desperate like Daryl Morty here maybe he should trade with the Pacers get Karis LeVert get Brogdon or something this is probably his last window I feel like the Pacers will be his last window if not he's gonna just have to take anything um that's really all I gotta say right now uh that is just had a little rant about Daryl Morty it's just ridiculous peace